And welcome back, everyone. We're going to be playing some more se Fallout 76. Uh, I've made it up this far. We're trying to get here. Uh, I tried doing the power plant down here and failed. I ended up dying, basically. Um, I tried it, failed it, and I'll probably try again later on if it gives me the option, but... I got a taste that I'm going to need a lot more than just 102 pistol bullets. End up using about eight stem packs, and I, that, and the character died, and all of the enemies got reset. And I looked in there like I have to clear this whole place and fix it under 30 minutes, when it gives you an hour to fix it. Yeah, it, it's just not going to happen. So that's pretty much what's going on with that. If you see anything pop up on the side, that's why I didn't show it. Who wants to see me die over and over again there? No one. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, this guy's just hanging around. So, there's this train yard event thing here. And, trying to get here. I'm trying to depend. Trying to decide do I go through the train yard? Or do I go around it? Because I already had to shoot a zombie that was here, and I think I see one more right there. My eyes might be bugging. It is 2 a.m. in the morning, so I won't be surprised if my eyes are just tripping. We'll go investigate a little bit. I don't want to go too far in because we are in a mission to do something else. So, if I see something useful, I'll grab it. If I don't, then do not answer that. Grab the pan, it can give me gears. Seafood. Ew. I don't even want to know what that is. Hey, flip back. Rice and beans. That's rat poison. We don't want that. Bobby pins. Nice. Mostly looking for food. Food's a constant pain in the ass. Bad, but not so bad. That has gear snack. Looking for anything that has gears or it's gonna be helpful as I go on the journey halfway around the world here. So I did see a couple zombies out here. I see one over there, and there's one right there. Yep, quite literally, this is all I got good ammo for. It's a bad situation. The issue is when you start this. There is no real easy way to make caps other than to do the main questing. Like, just be on it. Come on! Really? Alright, let's do that. I'm in a bit of a situation here. I need to find me some stem packs quick. So 
Someone else has been here too. No idea why I just picked up. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm not wasting all my bullets here. Alright, where are we? Right there's no nuke plant over there, it looks like. be wrong about it, but it, it looks like there might be another new plant over there. Mm, some kind of power plant. It's got power and it's doing smoke. This looks overrun like shit. Cause it is! Shotgun. It saved me so many times. I hear him. I just don't see him. Death. Someone take <sighs> death? What you could do me a solid on? Get me some ammo. Maybe even some health. The biggest problem I'm going to have after this is I 
don't have enough caps to physically uh oh dear. I need country ammo. I need health. I'm eating food. Something I can take advantage of, right?
health are we going? A long ways right now. Damn it. You see the predicament of it, like, ah, crap. I need What's the point of me going down here if this doesn't lead up? There's someone down there. Let's have the door and just get the person stuck in the side and it get a close it was just after 30 seconds, but still annoying mind me is I just kind of sit here scratching my head like where the fuck am I supposed to go
There's still a key card in here. Did you come from? Right later, the kid just came out of nowhere. Annoying. I need. Ow. Start using that more often. Terrible way to go. Nothing worse than being eaten alive. Ah, uh, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do here, guys. 
we are quite literally out of medkits. Like stems and stuff like that. It's in there behind a freaking muck door. Hot man, huh? Visitor to the responder's graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the fallen. That's good. Important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here. Somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the world. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me, I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive. I really hope He's this gives you some decent gone. caps because I really need His life them. count for something? I don't really know. He and the other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memories. Even those will fade in time. 
anyway. Guess you've listened to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? What would you like to know? Marcus, five years younger. Start running back in high school. And handsome, too. Had all the ladies chasing him. He followed me into the army. Became an MP. Then got out and moved to Morgantown. Signed up with them. Back then, I do. I don't think it matters much how dangerous this place is. If one of those mutants don't get me, cancer will. But I guess what keeps me here is just knowing this is where my brother died. Call me a superstitious old fool, but I don't want my spirit to have to walk too far to find his. Time's all I... of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Chavez out. Message will repeat. We need all hands at the Morgantown Airport. Hey, yeah, now I gotta figure out how to get out of here without dying. Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. Oh, thank goodness. Of course, they're coming, and there's a lot of them. Please hurry. There's not much time. Caps. Ammo. We need all hands to Morgantown Airport base. I repeat, all responders report to Morgantown Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. The scorched are coming, and there's a lot of them. Please hurry. There's not much time. Shot is out. This message will repeat. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bed after this one. Hmm. It was nice to do something different for once, though. Um, gonna rest gets boring. It gets you worked up. I repeat, all responders report to Morgantown Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. It's like eh. And there's a lot of them. Please hurry. There's not much time. Chavez out. So we responded to the responders. We need to look at. Ah, um, notes. Three sets of twelve rips. Dumbbell bicep curls, tricep extensions. The 
some back extensions. Yeah. I don't know you about a lack of proper equipment. This message will repeat. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide summit. This message will repeat. Hmm. Now I gotta somehow pull stim packs out of my ass. Great! <laughs> we need all hands at the Morgantown Airport base. I repeat, all responders report to Morgantown Airport right away. Bring any weapons you can. The Scorched are coming. Me. I'm just trying to figure out where we're going to be going next. So I gotta reach level 20. You might as well just unclick that one. So I gotta down there and study research. Oh my goodness, it's gonna make me go up there. I don't have the stuff for that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go try to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get enough resources to, you know, get step packs, get resupplied somehow. I keep being told, just do side quests. I'm like, well, that didn't quite work out, now did it? <laughs> Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys again soon.